Okay, so this is the first update to XCOM 2 at 21 by 9. So, happy news, following quickly on the heels of the release, a fix for a broad range of the issues has been found. And it is really good news, because there were so many problems. And there still are some problems, and they're not just 21 by 9 specific, but some of them have been fixed, so it's good anyway. The unbelievable thing is just how easy it is to do this fix, and I just can't believe it wasn't natively built into the game, just to activate whenever anyone uses an ultra-wide resolution, but whatever. Anyway, go to your C drive, your documents, my game, XCOM 2, XCOM game, config, and then you want to find a file called engine.localplayer. Then you want to control F to find engine.localplayer, and then change the line from maintain XFOV to maintain YFOV. That is literally the fix, you're changing X to a Y, and then you're good to go. Uh, full step-by-step -step instructions will be in the description if you find that easier. Now, essentially, the game stops zooming in, which means the main menu works correctly, the image isn't being cut off, so you don't lose the top parts of the word for each menu item, section, and so on. The gameplay is now the same as it is at 16x9, no extra zoom effect. Pre-rendered cutscenes are still obviously 16x9 with black bars, but the cutscenes that are in-game are now no longer zoomed in, not cutting off the image like they previously were with the main menu as well. Previously, there were problems with the UI and the home ship side view, among other screens, and now this has all been rectified. In fact, really, my only gripes with the game now are the excessive time spent waiting for enemies to move, with the camera frequently just staring into space for long periods while the game thinks what to do. Also, performance of the game has just gotten worse for me. I'm on a GTX 980 Ti, and I was unable to get a steady 60 FPS on any map, and the ones in the background for this video, I actually dropped to full minimum settings at 1080p, and still could only just get 60 FPS, but then still frequently dipped below during big animations and if there were fire effects. Now that is absolutely shit, that's a 980 Ti. I don't know what other rigs are getting, but that is horrendous. And on top of this, I've had the game crash multiple times and it's only been two days since release, so there's a lot of fixes that do need to come. Anyway, I'm glad a fix was found, and at least we can attempt to play it at 21 by 9 which we just couldn't before. And if anything else changes with the game, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyway, give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. See you later. Closer look. Moving out. We'll do. We need emergency evac now, damn it, now! Enemies down. That's it, I'm out. Rock and roll!
Back online. Oh, come on! Designated coordinates. Target neutralized. My ammo's running low. <laughs> VIP secure and in position for evac. 